Hello everybody, thanks for watching the video. So in this one, it's kind of going to be an update video, kind of keeping you guys up to date with where I'm at and uh, how my city's going and all that. I did this in Game War, um, kind of showing you guys how to do the trap setups and all that, which I'm not really that uh, um, that far in the game yet to really be able to uh, strategically set up my city and all that, but I'm going to keep you guys up to date to where I'm at. So for this one, I'm just going to show you I have reached 19 finally, which was my goal from the beginning, and that was to get these uh, bomb vessel ships, which, coming from experience of playing the other game, which was uh, Oceans and Empires, which is kind of the same one. There is a few details that are different, but pretty much the same game overall. Um, but yeah, these are kind of... Well, really overpowered compared to other ships that are lower tier than them but they are pretty overpowered and uh, easier to get than the uh, uh, frigate and heavy galleon so this was my main goal was to get to 19 as fast as possible which took me quite a bit but I finally got here and I'm going to show you guys what I did to them and uh, I've already got another video going to come out right after this I've already actually went out and hit people and stuff for that, and it's just a video of the rallies and uh, solos and stuff. We burnt a uh, hive to the ground, took out their fortress, their walls, everything. So that should be pretty fun for you guys to watch if you want to go see that. This one I'm just going to go through and show you guys the upgrades and all the stats and everything of the bomb vessels. And uh, I actually unlocked the uh, Tier 7 troops, I believe. The They're called the Axe Masters, Axe... Axe something. Uh, Axe Masters. So I unlocked those as well and trained about a thousand of them, something like that. Uh, maybe even over a thousand of them. We'll get to that eventually. So let's start with these bomb vessels, which was kind of the main goal that I started and was after. Alright, so all of them are kind of upgrading right now, so I'm going to have to look at this one. Now, all the upgrades are pretty much the same on all of them. I just went through and kind of set them up mainly for attacking. Because uh, that, from this point on, that's pretty much what I'm going to be focused on is attacking, not really the uh, gathering and stuff for at least a few days now. I'm going to try to uh, get in the more attacking part of the game instead of the uh, grinding and all that. Because I've done that since the beginning, and it's time for a little bit of fun. Now, obviously, for... Uh, I started out with upgrading the ship firepower to its max, which is going to give me 12% more firepower. So if you guys are doing any ship upgrades, you want to start with that firepower because that's going to help you out with monsters, it's going to help you hitting people, it's going to help with the empire cities, all that good stuff. Alright, uh, hunting rewards, that's really up to you guys if you want to do it. I left it out, I only did it to one because one is uh, like two gold to do or like 40 seconds. So I did everything to one, just for just because it's cheap and don't really take any time at all. Uh, so that's going to give you like 1% if you guys wanted to do that. Uh, the capacity, pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's going to make you hold more uh, carry weight, and that's only 3%. So I only took that to one. That's not really my main goal. Uh, ship armor, I took this one to max. That's going to be 12% more ship armor. So if you guys are going to be going out hitting people, you definitely want to max the firepower and the armor, for obvious reasons. Uh, collecting speed, like I said, I'm not really going to uh, be doing a whole lot of collecting. I, I will eventually to upgrade more, but uh, for the next few days I'm probably just going to be doing some rallies and uh, solos and all that, and putting, putting some videos up on that kind of stuff if you guys wanted to see that, which there's one coming out right after this. Alright, then you got your buckshot. I'm going to probably max this one out. I'm still working on it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going for this one next. And what this does is when it gets to the boarding part of the uh, battles, which I'll, I'll be going over that more in detail in the next video, but there's different stages to a battle. And this is when the cannons are firing at the pirates that are trying to board. Uh, that's pretty much what that is. Alright, uh, then max durability. This is kind of the same thing as the armor, except, uh, well, each ship has different durability amounts, like how much damage it can actually take. Uh, the armor just decreases the amount of damage that it gets, but the durability is the amount 
overall it can take. Like if it's got 3,900 durability and they do, uh, let's say, 300 damage, they got to hit that, uh, what, 10, 13 times before it actually uh, sinks. So that's what that is. That's the uh, durability amount, which is 12% more. Uh, voyage speed, this is. Uh, once I upgrade some of this other stuff, I might go for the voyage speed, that, but uh, making it travel faster isn't really the main priority. Um, making it stronger is what I'm after, which is going to be this powder stuff down here, this buckshot, hull strength, durability, firepower, and uh, maybe the cabins down here to add a little bit more pirates to it, which will help out during battles. And then uh, this powder magazine down here just makes it uh, makes it where it, will, where it will be able to shoot a little faster and uh, do a little bit more damage. Alright, so all my bomb vessels are set up this way and if you guys were looking for more of an attack build this would be kind of the way to go for. You could leave out some of this stuff obviously like hunting rewards capacity and all that but uh, pretty much that's the gist of how you want to set it up if you were going to go out and attack people. Alright, now, um, let's go look at these Axe Masters a little, actually, first, let's look at the uh, stats. Well, let's go over here and look at it in the shipyard, because then you can scroll through the different boats, and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, um, here's what I was saying, the durability amount, like this one's 4,400, so if they did 300, they would actually have to hit it more than 13 times to actually sink it. So that's the durability amount, and then you've got your armor amount, which decreases the amount of damage they can actually do. Uh, you got your ship versus ship power, ship versus pirate, that's the buckshot, buckshot part, and uh, that's what that does. A uh, bombardment speed, which is the same on all the boats for some reason, I'm not sure why that is. Um, that's why I don't really go by the stats of the boat, I go by more of how it actually works during a hit. Like... Uh, I actually skipped galleons, which is the one right before this. I didn't build any of these because when you first start the game and you get that one galleon out of the reward thing, to me, the flutes and the galleons, if I had to compare them, I would probably go with the flutes. So I stuck with the flutes when I got to 13, and I didn't go to galleons when I got to 16. I just skipped them and went straight to 19 and went for bomb vessels. And I'm pretty happy I did that because galleons overall, to me, sucked. That every time I would send this thing out to hit a monster, every time I would hit an empire city or something, my flutes would come back perfectly fine and this thing would be on fire. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I didn't really research any of the flute stuff, so it couldn't have been that. I just unlocked them. Um, other than that, I, I don't really know why this thing would always come back on fire, but that's just how it is, so I left them out. And then you got the flutes, you got the Carex, which is your first artillery vessel, and uh, it's not really all that great. I mean, it's work. I mean, you might want to build some if you got to that level and you were gonna stay there for a little bit, kind of max everything out, and then level up. Um, but other than that, you can just skip that one and go straight to the flutes. But uh, most of this stuff, you guys are going to pass all this rather quickly. Hopefully I will be able to get to 22 sometime in the near future and eventually 24 so I can be able to test these boats out as well and keep you guys updated on that. But so far the bomb vessels are really great and if you guys want to see them in action be sure to watch the next video and I will uh, do a few rallies and do a few, uh, quite a bit of solos, take out their fortress, take out their walls and just completely demolish pretty much their entire little hive of uh, people. So yeah. Let's go to the Axe Masters and look at them and go over the pirates a little bit. So overall, stat-wise, of course, this is going to look better, but if you guys are familiar with the uh, Game of War and stuff like that, stats are not always the uh, better option in these types of games. Um, just because it's a higher tier does not necessarily mean it's the better, uh, better choice. So, so far these are working really well. Um, it's partly because of how the reports and stuff actually play out. The lower tier is going to take the damage. They are going to go in the hospital and die first, while the higher tier is going to hang back and not really do a whole lot. Um, 
Well, they're going to do damage, but they're not really going to take much of the damage, if you know what I mean. So, overall, they are working great for right now, but we will uh, see more on how they actually work by themselves later on when I get some more of these built and I'm able to uh, just use all Axe Masters and not have to worry about putting gunners or anything else in there. But I don't have enough resources to do that at the moment, so it's going to be a while before I can test that. Alright, then you've got your gunners, uh, you got your swordsmen, boat swan, bombers, raiders, which you're going to pass most of these. At, just like the boats, you're going to pass these rather quickly, and you're going to be up to about the boat swan or swordsman rather quickly. Which, starting out, the swordsmen are pretty easy to build, and they are pretty tough for just starting out killing lower level monsters. But as soon as you can, guys, you want to upgrade the gunners and uh, just kind of drop these off as you go and uh, just try to get the highest tier for now because these will um, get injured a lot less and stuff when you're hitting higher and higher monsters. That's just how it is for now, but later on it may get a little bit more strategic and we might add in like a meat shield of lower, lower level ones, but uh, for now just go for the higher tier one. And then you've got your sword masters, which hopefully I will be able to test those in the near future as well. Okay, so that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to uh, update you guys on where I'm at and kind of show you guys my city and how it's going. Which, getting to 19, which was a major pain. It took a lot of resources and speed to actually get here. You had to go through and get these to 19 first, which was a major pain. You had to get this... Uh, lore collection in 19 just to do the bomb vessel uh, research which was super expensive and well not expensive uh, real money wise just expensive resource and speed wise you you guys don't really have to spend to uh, get very far in this game um, you can actually do it all without spending which is the very nice part if you guys are familiar with game of war that that game is super money hungry um, you don't have to do that here guys uh, you can actually do all this without spending at all it's just convenience to get there faster now that being said thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully this was kind of uh, entertaining or inf informational or something thanks for watching guys check out the next video if you guys want to see these uh, mean looking things in in action and I'll See you in the next one. Keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching.